Hey guys, Survivor Dude here. Um, today I'll be showing you guys how to make a primitive or just bushcraft bow. So for hunting small game like rabbit and anything like hare or anything like maybe even quail. So what you're gonna want to start off with is some small, maybe a group of like two to four small, maybe like four finger thickness kind of branches. I'll be using willow. So I'm just gonna just get myself maybe about like about this length, maybe four feet of like three maybe of these branches. So I'll just show you that once I'm done. Okay, so now you can see I've got three fit roughly the same size. One, two branches they're not all exactly the same height I cut them to as long as I possibly could as long and as straight as I possibly could so then I have lots of like play in how long I want it to be and what I can do with this so I've got these ready to go we'll go back now to where we're gonna make this and I'll show you the next steps okay so I've got my three all that's simply done now just got them to the length I want and mark each one and cut them so they are all at the same length. Now what I'm going to do is just find the thickest one, which is this one, have the butt end, the thickest end at one end and then the other two skinnier ones I'm going to put the butt end at the other side so it evens it out. So that will work just like that. So this way there's not one really thick end or one really skinny end. So now, let's get length of the cord that you have. It doesn't need to be that long. Just cut a section. What are you going to do in one end fold it over itself and just tie a knot in itself so you have a loop at one end but what you want you want to make sure that on the end you have excess cord so you can tie it together once you're done so now you see got a loop at one end extra cord for tying it together and this is the length of it so lay these down I'm going to tie about a hand length away from the end, maybe closer even. So it doesn't really matter, just you got to tie this whole thing together anyway. So you go around once, put it through the hole, and then just going to pull up and back. And this is going to really tighten up the whole thing. And then just trim the loose ends. So now I have one end secure, which is going to be your bow. Now I'm just going to secure the other end and just do two more. And then you're going to make your grip and then string this. Okay, so you can see, tied it off here, 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 and here. So this is going to be, the frame of it is all together. Now all I need to do is just make the grip. So I need to find the center first. So all I, all I do, run a length of cord over the distance of the entire bow. And just fold it in half. And where that this end reaches the center, the where the end reaches is the center. So I'm just gonna mark this. Ok, 
Okay. Oops. Now, I'm gonna take a nice long length of cord because this is gonna. I'm making my grip right now, so that ought to be good. Now the technique here is you're gonna go and lay the string, go up whatever length you want your grip to be and back down so there's a loop and all you're gonna do is start wrapping around and then when you get to the top then from there you just stick the loose end of your cord through the loop then pull the end that you have sticking out at the bottom and that will bring the end that you have just finished into the coil okay so now I'm going to come up and show you how you secure this. So you can see I've got it all coiled. There's the loop I made. You can see here's one loose end and it goes all the way up. Here's the loop. Back down and starts coiling around. Now here's the end of my string now. I'm just going to pass it through this loop. Pull it through like that. Then you just pull this down, and it, see it pulls it under. Give that a nice yank. There you go. There. Now see the end of this is pulled under here, and then this end is all tightly wound because it's wound around itself so now we just cut away these loose ends and you have your grip okay so now I've made two notches in this end two notches in this end so now all I'm gonna do is get a length of string it's about the same length except I'm gonna do a loop you're going to want to make it so it fits around one end, but then the other end is one inch shorter than the length of the bow. Put it on the ground and then push in the middle to make it bend to flex so I'll be able to get this on. That and that it's gonna work well. So perfect. Okay, so I wanna do one final test with this string, see now? Much more tight. I made it shorter, so I'm gonna see if that works any better. Here we go. Hope I don't lose my arrow. Oh, I lost my arrow. Okay, so that obviously worked well. You can see just how far it can go. The tighter, I guess, the better. Here we go. Hope you can still see this. Ready? Oh yeah, hope you saw that. Wow, well that works way better than I thought. So, tight string definitely makes a difference. Willow works well, you can see how it's bending, but it doesn't bend instead like that, it bends and bends back nicely. 
So this is really nice. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys try this. It's a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.